Hi, my name is Luki and welcome to another video on Promoting Indonesia. Today's video is about electric vehicles. That's right, electric. Vehicles. Just pretend you didn't see the dinosaur. When we talk about electric vehicles or EVs, some of you might be asking, is EV really what the future holds? Is it environmentally friendly as they claim to be? From what I see is that we are indeed moving towards that direction. Isn't that right, Elon? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. More electric vehicles are being produced and more people are transitioning from the internal combustion engine to battery powered vehicles, especially in the US, China and Europe. And what about Indonesia? I'm glad you asked. Indonesia aspires to become a hub for manufacturing and exporting electric vehicles. And on the 8th of August 2019, President Joko Widodo signed the Presidential Regulation Number 55 of year 2019 concerning the Battery Electric Vehicle Program for Road Transportation. The President has stated that the key to the electric vehicle industry is the construction of the batteries they run on, which in today's EV industry is lithium, and Indonesia has all the raw materials that are needed to make EV batteries, such as nickel, cobalt, manganese, copper, and aluminium. In fact, Indonesia has the largest nickel reserves in the world with 21 million metric tons. To the best of my knowledge, Toyota and Hyundai has shown high interest or even perhaps in the process of expanding their investment in Indonesia's EV industry. And in efforts to attract German companies to invest, the Indonesian Coordinating Minister for Maritime and Investment Affairs, Pak Luhut Panjaitan, and the head of the Indonesian Investment Coordinating Board, Pak Bahlil Lahadalia, visited Germany and met with a number of German companies involved in the EV industry. Among others were BASF, BMW. BMW stands for Bayerische Motorwerke. Get it right! And Volkswagen. Volkswagen. And it means the car of the people. Get it right! BASF is already present in Indonesia. And so the focus of discussions were more on how BASF could expand their investment for the production of EV batteries. Like BASF, BMW is also present in Indonesia and a number of BMW models are assembled there. Hopefully, BMW will also expand their investment in assembling and hopefully manufacturing EVs in Indonesia because BMW are well known for their i3 and i8 models. Whereas for Volkswagen, unfortunately, the company does not have any investments in Indonesia yet. Hopefully this will change because Indonesia has so much to offer. Good news! If you want to find out more about the Indonesian EV industry, early next year you can visit the Electric Vehicle Technology and Component Exhibition, the Electric Vehicle Indonesia, which will be held in Jakarta from the 18th to the 20th of March 2020. It will also be held in conjunction with other automotive events. That's all from me today. I hope it was useful. Until next time, bye!